So this is my own guitar, it's a uh, Pacific Alien 2B from around 2004 or 2005 and it's basically stock apart from one mod. That I've done to what that means is the spec is solid out of the body, flame maple top, humbucker and two single coils on the pickup. So the bridge is kind of our design on a two pivot vintage trem and, um, and the big big change to it is that they're completely original saddles that have no screws, no protruding parts, nothing to get in the way. And the point of that meant that when you're playing down here and doing a lot of palm muting, it's really, really comfortable. So there's nothing for your hand to catch on, no little Allen keys, no screws, no nothing. So the basic configuration is as it came out of the factory, but what I have changed is the bridge pickup. The pickups that came on this guitar as standard is a pair of SSL1 Seymour Duncan vintage staggered single coils, and that's still what I've got in my guitar. But the stock humbucker was a Duncan JB. And what I've done is I've actually changed that out to a Screaming Demon. Hey guys, how's it going? Scott Marceau here with Seymour Duncan. We're gonna talk really quickly today about the George Lynch Screaming Demon Humbucker. Uh, George has been part of the Seymour Duncan family for many, many, many years. And back in the 80s, we decided to give him the honor of the first Seymour Duncan signature humbucker. So therefore came the uh, Screaming Demon. I first came across the Screaming Demon when I was working in a guitar store a few years ago and actually I fitted one of the little Screaming Demons into a customer's guitar. I was really surprised about the fact that it didn't sound how I expected. I expected that it was going to be this really high output, really gainy kind of pickup. But when I got it in there and, and wired it in and tried it out, it was just this really usable, really nice, open sounding pickup. So when I got this guitar, I wasn't completely happy with the sound. And for me, the JB just sounds a little bit middly, a little bit kind of boxy. I mean, it's a popular pickup, lots of people love them, but it, it just doesn't really fit my sound. So how's the Screaming Demon sound? So the Screaming Demon is a medium output pickup. It's not high output, it's not super hot. So it's not the best for like detuned, drop B, <laughs> metal, like scare your parents type music. It's got an Alnico 5 magnet. It's got slightly overwound PAF style coils, one row of normal adjustable screws, and also what makes it unique is the one row of um, hex screws instead of the regular pull pieces. The hex screws, instead of the pull pieces, you get kind of this airy quality to it where it's tight and defined, but it, every note has this really cool definition, so it's really unique, and uh, it's not like any other pickup that we have. So I decided to to try the Screaming Demon in this guitar, and it works fantastically. One of the big things for me is that most of my gigs are covers gigs, so I'm playing functions and parties and weddings and things like that. So I need a guitar that's actually gonna cover an awful lot of basses and, and get a ton of different sounds from one guitar. The hum single single configuration is good for versatility, but one of the cool things about the Screaming Demon is that not only has it got a great, usable, kind of medium output, vintagey humbucker tone, but the tap tone on this pickup is really, really cool. So to give you an idea of what that sounds like, if I go from the uh, full humbucker sound here on the Screaming Demon, it sounds something like this. So kind of what you expect from a humbucker, plenty of mid-range. But if I switch it into the single coil mode, if I tap it, really, really usable single coil sound. It's got that, that openness and that brightness and that, that kind of richness that a great single coil pickup's got. <laughs> And I think part of the other thing for this is that obviously I needed something that's going to fit in with the SSL ones because these are great sounding pickups. And a lot of humbuckers are tappable, but not every humbucker sounds that good when you tap it. So from the neck pickup, you've got that kind of classic round single coil tone. <laughs> Then on the middle pickup, a nice kind of spanky, kind of uh, funky kind of middle pickup tone. But then when I go to the bridge pickup, still got a proper sounding single coil. hard 
to do to go from this kind of sound you pick up on the on the on the neck. <laughs> this at the bridge a tapped humbucker is pretty good if I switch to a higher gain tone I've still got that unmistakable kind of powerful thick middly humbucker sound <laughs> By changing channels and going to the single coil, I've got really nice, really usable, really versatile kind of single coil tone. So basically, stock guitar, single mod, Duncan TV12, Trembucker spaced Screaming Demon at the bridge, nickel cover, so it looks cool, but the big thing, really usable sound, really versatile, really open. People ask me, what bridge pickup have you got in there? because it's not the stock one, because the stock one was an uncovered pickup. Um, tell them it's a Screaming Demon, everyone kind of laughs because the name's a little bit silly, but when you hear it, it's just a really, really nice sounding pickup and a fantastic mod.